Hi Virgos! Welcome to your mid-February to the end of the month general tarot reading. Thank you so much for your patience as I've been slowly getting these videos out. I know I'm a, like two weeks late in uploading the February reads. Uh, there is no real excuse, just life happening. And um, I've been working really hard behind the scenes on a lot of like the logistical stuff behind my online shop that I'm going to be launching soon. I don't have a working date just yet. A lot of things are going on in the background right now just to get the ball rolling. Um, but if you guys are interested on being the first to know about my launch, about exclusive details on what items are going to be featured in my online store, as well as getting um, exclusive discounts for the launch date. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below www.mindfulawakening.com um, where you can sign up to be part of our mailing list. Um, the store, I guess I could tease uh, because it's kind of out there already, but my online store is actually going to be called Mindful Botanica Toronto. So I'm super excited about that. Keep your eyes peeled for more information around that coming up soon. All right, let's go ahead and see what is in store for all Virgo signs, sun, moon, and rising for, ooh, for February the 14th to the 28th. Show us what else we need to see. You guys just had the cards flying out just like that. Like, wow. So quick. All right. Okay. So this is looking like a bittersweet rest of the month for you, Virgo signs. We're starting off your reading with the Two of Cups in reverse. There's some sort of partnership, relationship, collaboration that hasn't worked out the way that you had hoped it would. Um, if you're a business owner, maybe you had planned to collaborate with someone or it looked like you had an opportunity, um, but it didn't pan out or it didn't work out or it ended up getting canceled, postponed, delayed. Um, something here has caused some sort of disruption to this this union um, if this is not a business situation and this is in terms of a love relationship you and your partner right now could be experiencing some sort of hard times within your connection maybe you guys are fighting not seeing eye to eye someone may be acting a little bit more cold and distant within your union um, I'm getting here though that this is all a blessing in disguise. You have to look at this from a different point of view. It could be if this is a personal relationship that they're just going through something that has nothing to do with you right now and everything to do with like their own personal growth and transformation journey. I know it's really hard not to take it personally, especially if you're living with this person, um, especially if it's been a long-term relationship, especially if this is like your first real disagreement. I can see how this can be really difficult and challenging for you to kind of take a hands-off approach. For others of you who resonate with this on a work level or a collaboration type of situation, this is a blessing in disguise. And the reason why I say that is because we have the wheel upright. Wheel of fortune upright with hanged man upright. You just need to look at this from a different point of view. Um, if it's not delayed and something was canceled altogether um, or it didn't work out or something fell through with this collaboration, uh, if this person made lots of promises to you, um, I'm getting here with the wheel upright right as well as judgment upright they're gonna get what's coming to them you were actually protected by um, your spirit guides you were protected by god this opportunity was gonna end up doing more harm to you than good and so it was removed from your life at this moment in order to protect you from a situation that would have essentially made you feel trapped made you uh feel locked in when you didn't want to be for some of you i'm getting here that maybe a contract needed to be signed with you and a Possible collaborator or an opportunity and again something fell through we are going to pull clarification in just a second but the thing that fell through even though it's annoying hurtful you put a lot of yourself into that opportunity again look at it from a different point of view you were being protected from a potential harmful situation it is working out in your favor and this prevented you from being trapped in a situation or a contract or agreement that wouldn't have benefited you in the long run at the end of the day the bottom of the deck we have the sun card upright so i am seeing here that you are trying to look at things from a more positive point of view here page of wands in reverse might be a little bit challenging for you to stay motivated and find that like 
um, that desire to keep on going with this project, um, especially if it's something that uh, you were really hoping would be a partnership of some sort. If this is a love relationship, then again, you're still seeing things from a bigger picture and the bigger picture is you don't need this person in order to be happy. But again, it is a little bit challenging challenging for you to push forward. If you are dealing with a fire sign here, we have Sagittarian energy with this temperance card upright, fire sign energy with the page of wands, Sag, Aries, Leo energy. Overall, you're probably happy within this dynamic. You see the positive point of view here, although like I said earlier, if this is a love relationship, it could be that your partner is a little bit more detached from you this week. Could also be that they don't show up for you in this whole Valentine's Day situation the way that you had hoped that they would, or you guys get into a fight about that, um, something along those lines. Uh, but it's temporary. If this is a relationship thing, I'm seeing that it is temporary because you have the sun card upright. If this is a business situation that it relates to you on that level, then this was a blessing in disguise and opportunities that are better suited towards or better suited to you are just around the corner. Let's go ahead and clarify this two of cups in reverse. What is this two of cups in reverse? The Two of Cups in Reverse is clarified by, holy smokes, I really can't make this stuff up. We have the Hanged Man again, Nine of Swords upright, and we also have the King of Pentacles upright. Okay, so double clarification here, Hanged Man, Hanged Man. The message for you here is really take the time to look at this from another point of view. If you feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, you don't know how to move forward from this, it's causing you some stress, um, could even be like a family dynamic. Okay, the two of cups doesn't always have to be romantic. It could also mean that you're not getting the support from a person you wish you had support from or that they told you they would be there to support you, but they're not showing up the way that you thought they really would. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the king of pentacles here. Very slow moving energy also. And I think, again, if you were relying on this person, they're kind of showing you um, they're not operating the same way that you operate this could be your energy as well you're just really stressed out at the moment but whatever the holdup is whatever the thing is that's falling away and um not working out right at this second is actually a blessing in disguise let's take a look at this hanged man what do we need to look at from a different point of view the hanged man is clarified by the Three of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so some truth has come out about a particular situation, whether in money, work, and finance, or in personal relationships. Someone wasn't able to keep something a secret. Uh, this could even be your energy. Maybe you were trying to keep your plans for a project or your plans for something more to yourself. Um, maybe you were even trying to keep your money issues to yourself with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's some sort of instability here within a family dynamic within a home situation maybe um something is going on with your living situation as well or your savings um your bag is not where you wish it was at the moment maybe you were trying to keep that a secret and try to play it off like you're not about to experience some sort of financial hardship or um uh, something revolving like your financial sector, maybe some big moves are being made about your workplace, but you've been trying to keep it more low key. Uh, I am getting here though that that is slowly being revealed now and um, you got some answers regarding this particular situation. Three of Wands in reverse though, you're not quite sure how to move forward from the situation. So if within your family there's been some sort of like um, misunderstandings or people are on the same page about how to move forward or your plans have been revealed or your truth has been revealed around your money, work and finance situation, um, you're not sure what to do next. And I think you had wished that you were getting more support from people, Ten of Pentacles, family structure here, um, really needing to feel more safe and secure in your finances. I'm getting a lot of money around this situation, so I am getting here uh, not really sure how to move forward from this situation. Let's take a look at this wheel upright. What goes up must come down, so it's looking like something is finally gonna work in your favor. The wheel is clarified by the 
two of wands upright, the queen of pentacles upright, and we have the page of swords in reverse. So right now, this doesn't have to make complete sense. With the page of swords, uh, page of swords energy is really concerned with the overthinking, the overanalyzing, the over planning, going down that rabbit hole, almost like spiraling, needing, needing to know more information, uh, digging for more information, researching. Um, that's the kind of energy that's here, um, air sign energy, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it's in reverse here. So there's almost this desire to tap into Queen of Pentacles energy, which is a lot less scattered, a lot less in the mind, and a lot more... Um, realizing and understanding the wealth and the prosperity that you already have um, within your energy and all around you. You are a lot more wealthy than you think you are. And there's something to be said about the Queen of Pentacles ability, ability to attract and manifest all of these incredible um, opportunities. Whereas Page of Swords energy is a lot more about figuring it out logically in the mind um, and uh, and putting that into practice whereas queen of pentacles is more slow moving absolutely but a lot more let me attract this into my life i don't know how exactly i'm going to do it i haven't researched everything i don't have all the textbook answers to this but i know deep within my soul it is going to work itself out and that is why we have the two of wands up right here you have all this belief that somehow some way you can still move forward even if you don't have all of the answers answers you can still move forward and it will work out for you in the long run your faith is so strong virgo science it's beautiful let's take a look at this judgment card judgment upright is clarified by the page of wands the empress upright and the high priestess upright perfect it's time for you to listen to your intuition um, realize that, like I said earlier, your manifestation ability is at an all time high right now. And with the page of wands upright, you could be dealing with again, fire sign energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarian energy here. This person may be your partner. This person could be that partnership who seems a little bit more cold and distant at the moment, but use your intuition um, to tap into that empress energy so you could create and manifest a new beginning with this individual. Um, they really are passionate about this thing that you guys have going on. Uh, it just wasn't workable in the space and in the context that it was in in the past. And so really take the time now um, to figure out what the next steps are going to be and take that leap of faith, faith forwards together. Judgment upright though, if this person has done some sort of wrong to you or if you feel like the energy has not been an equal situation between you and this person, uh, they haven't been reliable, they haven't been showing up, that sort of deal, judgment upright is indicating to me that that will work itself out in the end. You don't necessarily have to go and like do anything um, physically, uh, somehow, some way that will work itself out. You might not even know how it works out, but it will end up balancing out the energies. And the message here is to have faith that uh, that's not your job. Judge, it is not your job to give judgment or to exert the judgment card energy on another individual. Uh, the universe is already taking care of that. Let's take a look at the Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse is clarified by Two of Pentacles upright, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. So there's no love offer being given here. It really feels like you feel alone in this new direction that you have to take, um, in this decision that you have to make. Um, this is not a choice that you are making with your partner. This is a choice that you have to make solo. Um, and I'm getting that here, especially with these two cards. You can't have one foot um, out the door and one foot in your current situation. You really need to choose at this point. And nothing is keeping you stuck here. I'm really getting a desire to move forward. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, though, is indicating that maybe you, you don't think you have enough to do it on your own, or you don't think you have enough to be successful at it at the first go around, especially if it feels like you want this more than your partner does or um, your your partner or your whoever you're collaborating with or whoever's in your life that's 
um, within this mix. Um, if you've realized that you're just not on the same page about it, it's kind of making you see that maybe you're not as prepared as you thought you were going to be during this current time for this transition that you're attempting to make. So let's go ahead and pull some final advice. I don't like how that ended. I'm gonna pull three more cards, I'm sorry. Ugh, then my intuition is just telling me pull. So we're gonna use another deck, let's just pull. We're using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. So is there any final advice then? Cause I'm getting here, you're kind of, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. You're trying to figure out what choice you're supposed to make next, given the fact that someone that you thought would be there to help you choose is kind of off dealing with their own thing. Um, their own situation or it, it's just um it's something that didn't uh, end up working out between you and this person i'm getting so many different storylines can we just get a final outcome please what next so if this choice needs to be made what next i'm getting the priority is what you want what do you want virgo signs i know you have so many other people you need to juggle opinions, thoughts, desires of other people, but the most important thing is, are you honoring what you actually want out of this situation? Oh my gosh, see, here we go again. Queen of Pentacles upright, the Fool upright. Brand new beginning for you. You want this new beginning. Queen of Pentacles energy. Again, you got that earlier. Uh, Queen of Pentacles upright instead of the Queen of Swords upright, right? Or instead of the Page of Swords. So double clarification for the queen of pentacles you have more than you need in order to start this new journey it might not feel like it maybe your partner has doubts maybe your partner is worried that it's not going to work out how you intend for it to work out and that's okay but you need to bet on yourself take that leap of faith you are more wealthy than you think you have everything you need to be successful in this new endeavor slow moving energy okay we're talking pentacle signs here so this transition is not going to just happen overnight it's something uh your comfortability and your um your uh your comfortability in this new situation isn't going to happen just like that. You're going to have to ease into it. You're going to have to grow into your choice. Um, but the important thing for you is that you do have to choose, though, and choose what's best for you, not what's best for everyone in your life. Choose what you know is genuinely best for you in this situation. We're going to pull one last card. I'm giving the Keepers of the Light Oracle a bit of a break this month, and we're using the Super Attractor deck by Gabrielle Bernstein instead. Can we get a message from our spirit guides and the universe for our Virgo signs for the rest of February, please? I feel like a big choice. You need to make a big choice, Virgos. you got three cards we have here. When I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. Someone is really stressed out here, like super stressed out. And you have the power to change the environment just by changing your frequency. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, <clears throat> guidance of the highest truth shows me, sh sorry, each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. And when I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. Mighty force of faith. Wow. Mighty force of faith. Beautiful message here. Lean into this fool energy. Take that leap of faith. Bet on yourself and make the best decision for you. Virgo signs, I hope this resonated with you. Happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.